Good morning folks, we are back again with a roof clean shock. But we're here, it is, what is the date? Friday the 28th of June and this is what we're dealing with. So we've got some flat tiles, quite a lot of lichen in it, a bit of moss. Um, but yeah, I think they're grey underneath. If I'm honest, I don't think they're red, because if they're red they normally have a bit of red in the corner, but I think all I can see is grey. Um, but yeah, you know, we've got a nice little setup. No conservatory roof to go over. Nothing difficult to end the week on. So yeah, and the sun is still out. Because <laughs> this video is now the day after the last video went out. So, that's what we're dealing with at the back. Obviously I now own this tower, which is lovely. It means I kind of have a bit more play with time and things rather than kind of trying to squeeze as much in as possible. But yeah, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just built that on my own. Ugh. But uh, yeah, hope you're doing all right. We will crack on. I'll get a time lapse going. Um, yeah, I've got uh, today. I've got a Turbo Devil 300 coming at some point. It says between eight and twelve. So as soon as that comes, I might go and grab it because these are flat tiles, and that'd be really ideal to have. And plus, I've never used one on a roof before. So yeah, it'd be quite interesting to stick on there. But yeah, and then we've got the 45 foot bioside pole and the 35 foot pressure washing pole. Um, I had a, a thought about switching them over, but um, I haven't really got around to it. But what's the point really? Because I'd rather reach the biosite from the ground, because I can always pretty much most of the time reach with this. So yeah, we'll get going, we'll crack on. All the gutters down parts have been disconnected. The, this one hasn't, because this one is in a really, really awkward position. So I'm just gonna put this high vis in it and stuff it right in the hole. Up there, because obviously this, I've tried to put a ladder there, but the ladder's too wide for this wall, so yeah, it just turns a bit of a nightmare. So that's what we're going to do get the gutter back, stick that high vis in there, block it all up, and yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, cool, enjoy, folks. <laughs> folks so that's the back half first half all done as you can tell it looks really good really nice a lot of mess as you can see this is all porcelain by the way it looks really nice it's like a wooden kind of look but yeah you, you i mean i kind of hazard a guess it was porcelain but you kind of have to make sure of these things um just so you don't go too mad with the pressure on them but yeah we're not cleaning that we're just doing a few little because they've got plant pots just taking a few of the rings away but yeah look at that it's really nice isn't it They've got these spikes as well, which are really, I think they're really good because obviously if you've got loads of birds that could sit there and, you know, poo down, they stop that. So, yeah, they're great, but obviously it all goes onto the roof instead. But no, yeah, looking good. Happy with that. Um, move over there now. Time is, I don't know if you can see that, 9.50, I can't even see it, 9.56, I think it is. Um, yeah, these sunglasses are girl sunglasses, so leave me alone. Um, can't see everything goes purple for some reason but yeah so it took about took just shy of an hour to do that half but obviously that's the majority because yeah you can really see that's less than half and this is a lot more than half so it should be done all at the back by about 11 move around to the front should be done about half two ish cleaning wise and then the bio side obviously we can just do from the ground so yeah all good all good time's flowing lovely see you in the next side
So, all done. As you can see, it looks great. Nice, lovely, clean roof. Um, we've had a neighbour come out and ask for a quote, so that's always great. But look at this mess. It's just constant mess. But yeah, we'll rinse down all the faces and stuff, but it's right at the end of the day. I won't do that now because I want to get around to the front and start doing that. Uh, meanwhile, we'll shrivel that up, pickle that up, let it dry off, and then, yeah, we'll crack on. It's a bit cooler today, but the wind is picking up, which isn't great because obviously my pole's going all over the place. But I've just had a notification to say that my flat surface cleaner has arrived, so I might pop home and grab it. Um, I also might not, but obviously on these tyres it would be great because you can just kind of go across without, you know, having the turbine nozzle in the air. But yeah, I've never used one before, so yeah, you know, I don't know. I might not get, I might not go grab it, but I might. So <laughs> don't know. See what happens. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna take the scaffolding down, and then I will meet you at the front in just a minute. And as you can see, time is what is it? 10, 10 I think it says in there. So yeah, good timing. So started the machine about ten to nine. So what? Two hours? Two hours through the back? Two hours through the front? Could be a nice little time to finish. Anyway, cool guys. See you in a sec. Long story short, GoPro died yesterday when I was doing that bit of roof up there. Uh, as you can see, we're biosiding now, so we've done half. Um, but GoPro died, had to clean down, and I remembered I had to go to a mill. So uh, yeah, I had to get on the half six train, which turned out to be an absolute disaster anyway. So yeah, back today, it's Saturday today, nine, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, just getting this biosided and just reconnect the downpipes, and then that'll be a good one. But yeah, new pole in action. Uh, that's about 90% of it open. Obviously when you lift it up, you can reach the top. It's fine. Um, it's great time saver. Obviously, like I said, we've already done half of the roof in about 20 minutes from the ground rather than, you know, sitting up the scaffolding for 20 minutes, then 20 minutes doing it and 20 minutes down again, whatever. So yeah, saves a lot of time. Um, but yeah, it's warm today. Really, really, really hot. I don't actually know what the temperature is, I think it's about 25, it feels about 35, so yeah, anyway, enjoy. I might set you up on a time lapse of me doing this last half of Fireside, but to be honest, I charged my GoPro battery in the van this morning, I've got 12%, so what I'll do is, I'll just have a little walk around with you once I finish doing this Fireside, and I'll show you the end results. Anyway, quick little update, I'll see you in a sec. Right then folks, jobs are good in. We're done, it is. 10.53 Look at that Looks great Put the bio side on, lovely warm day um, That will sink in over time Pardon me, just finishing a cup of tea <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of this video It's been a tiring week To be honest, it's been a six day week um, Please leave a like and subscribe uh, This video will probably go out Two weeks from now So it's the 29th of June today So this will probably go out in the week of the 7th of July because I go on holiday for a few days soon, or the next or next week. So uh, yeah, I will see you when I get back, and we're hitting the ground running. We've got roof clean after roof clean after roof clean. No small job. <laughs> got 
a detached house, a big one with a nice red roof with a bit of annoying access that will get done. Uh, fully block paved driveway as well with that same place. Um, and then we've got a few smaller ones, semi detached and a few things like that about. But yeah, busy, busy, busy. So yeah, I will see you next video, which will be, like I said, two weeks, but I've made three videos this week. So yeah, leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, folks.